Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we got the 71 Winchester out here and we have some bullets from North Fork and we're going to be trying these out. There's, these are 230 grain bullets. I'll give you a close look at these bullets. So they sent them out to us, so we're going to test them out. They also sent us some out for the 4590. We're also going to test them out. Now first of all, we're going to shoot them into some oak boards just, just to see how tough these bullets are. Then we're going to shoot them into water jugs. And then we're going to shoot them in the ballistic gelatin. Now, I want to give a big uh, thanks to Clear Ballistic Gelatin for sending us some ballistic gelatin. Also, Frank Walker for setting it up. So we're going to uh, shoot a full velocity load into that ballistic gelatin. Then we're going to shoot a reduced load that will simulate a 100-yard impact. Uh, well, about a 120-yard impact. So we'll see how well it expands at longer range and, and close range. And if it over expands or whatever it does we'll be able to see it so let's get that set up and get to shooting and see what happens and uh let me bring you in and give you a closer look at these bullets that's what the bullets look like all right shooting in the oak boards first 100 or 230 grain bullet Check it out and see what it did. Okay, it come through one, two, three, four. Really blowing these boards up. So it's five. S stopped in the. <laughs> Ow, wow, that's really hot. Ow. That's like it didn't really stop there. Six, or did it stop there? I think it did stop there. So that was. Up on the fifth board. Not sure what that is. It's not all of it. I don't think. Is it still going? No, I don't think so. I think that's the other. Yep, it was still going. Look at there. So this right here is the mushroom come off of it on the fifth board. So it still went through. It went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boards. This is like the, it's like the base of it. So the mushroom broke off on the fifth board. There we got the base of it. There's the weird looking mushroom that broke off of it. So it not only makes a big wound channel, but it also, the base of it just keeps on going. Okay, so far, I mean, it has this jug here with a whole exit in it. So it went through all seven jugs and exited and kept on going. We're going to go over here in the bank and try to see if we can find it. The ground right here, that means it ricocheted upward. And I seen it laying right there. So far, that's these two bullets.
there's where they come in. See that one's dipping down, that's the lower velocity one that would equivalent a hundred yard shot. The other one went this straight, straight as an arrow, and then bounced back. This one went down, hit that board, and it's sticking out the bottom. But there's, there's how well it mushroomed out. There's the side of it. Get the other one out of there and see how big it mushroomed out too. As you can see, both those bullets went about 30 inches. I mean, that one on the bottom went a little bit less, went 28 and a half. Top one, Rizzling went 30 inches, bounced back to 29. Well, as you can see, this in here is the one that went to the oak boards and it has this ring. And then this one here went to the water jugs and it's sort of coming out of the ring. This one here is the one that went to the ballistic gelatin and was the highest velocity. This one here was the lower velocity, like a 120 yard impact velocity. And as you can see, they did really good. They really penetrated a lot. They are probably holding on to a lot of their weight. So I'm gonna check that out and we'll see. You can see they easily expanded out over a half inch. So you, you're looking at well over a half inch. And that's the probably the one that expanded the most. We'll check this one. Yeah, well over a half inch. And this one here as well. Yeah, see they're easily expanding out over a half inch. So they're expanding out really good. So this is in here is 185 grains. This in here is 200. And 11 grains. This one here is basically full weight, full weight, full weight. These down here really didn't lose any of their original weight. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like those North Fork bullets did a really good number on that ballistic gelatin. I feel like they they really went through those water jugs. I mean, they went through all seven of them, and kept on going, found that bullet over there on the bank, and then the other one that come out the side of the ballistic gelatin, we managed to find it as well. But if you look at the penetration, 30, you know, 20, 28 to, to, to 30 inches, that's a lot of penetration on ballistic gelatin. So I really feel like them bullets have a lot to offer and they uh, seem to hold together, you know, really good. Obviously shooting through oak boards is not what they're meant to do. But that does show you that if you have something hard enough to kind of expand it out too much, it's just going to pop on through that that it, uh, mushroom and keep on penetrating. It's gonna get, still get in there and to the uh, engine room and get the job done. So if you was to hit a really thick shoulder bone and it got expanded out pretty good, then it would probably just pop on through there and get on in there and do what it needs to do and get the job done. So anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think. I haven't shot them for accuracy yet. We have some more bullets. We're gonna do another video and shoot them for accuracy. Uh, if you guys have any other tests or thoughts on these particular bullets for the 348, let me know what you would like me to shoot them into, and we'll do a little testing on that. In the meantime, God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next video.